in this lecture we are try to prove an important result of linear programming problem or we say that an important theorem of lpt which is set of all possible solution of an lpt is convex set very simple and easy problem now we first consider an lpt which is LPP is given by we can take this is maximized type or minimized type z this is equal to cx subject to ax this is equal to b we take it is in the standard form with capital x that are equal to 0 okay this is the LPP in matrix method and we all know where A this is copy cell matrix M cross N C this is C1, C2, Cn X this is X1, X2, Xn this is a variable and B this is B1 to Bm transpose Right. Now, here we first understand about the convex set. What is convex set? The definition of convex set is a set S is said to be convex set if for all x1, x2 belongs to S. That is, if we have to take two point, any two point of this set, and we make the convex combination of these two point, this is becomes X, and this must be belongs to S. And this definition can also be written as the convex combination of any two point is in the set. Then the set is said to be convex set. Now let S be the set of all physical solution. Of one. Let it be that it will be one. Okay. And what do you mean by visible solution? If we take let x1 and x2 or we take here capital X1 and capital X2 capital X1 and capital X2 be any two point of the physical region or physical set then it must be satisfied all the constraints that is constraints together with the non-negative restriction that is we can write A x1 this is equal to b and x1 better equal to 0 and similarly a x2 equal to b and x2 better equal to 0 okay these two condition must be satisfied since x1 x2 belongs to s now we make lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 let it be x where 0 less equal to lambda less equal to 1. Okay, this is the convex combination of these two points of S. Now we have to show this point or the convex combination is also belongs to the set. Now A X. We prove one by one. We first prove this condition, then we prove this condition. Okay. A X, this is equal to A into lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 and this is given by lambda into a x2 plus 1 minus lambda into a x1 okay and we write the value of a x2 which is given by b plus 1 minus lambda into a x1 this is this is given by a x1 is this and a x2 is this so we put here b also so we take common b lambda plus 1 minus lambda into b that is b okay so we get the first condition this is equal to a x equal to b and for the second condition x this is equal to lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 here we already get x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 0 so these two are equal to 0 also we know that 0 less equal to lambda less equal to 1 so lambda is equal to 0 and 1 minus lambda is obviously equal to 0 from this condition 
So all the quota lambda x2, 1 minus lambda x1, all are equal to 0. So we can write x, this is equal to 0. Okay, so x is equal to 0. Hence we get the second condition of the physical solution. Hence we say that the set of all physical solution of an LPP, we say the LPP is like this. This is the general form of LPP. And this physical solution set must be the contact set. Right? Thank you. Thank you for watching.